Welcome back to the Sports Night Zone. The Jamaica Select Team got their first win at the Caribbean Americas Soccer Classic in Florida on Thursday night, having lost Wednesday's opening game. Uh, Gerard Morsili has a story. A doubleheader set on a day that can be branded do or die for two teams in Jamaica All Schools and Ingenious Elite. But before that clash, Lord Hill Lions and Rush Select Academy locked horns. Coach Tom Durkin made 10 changes from the team that defeated the Jamaicans and it showed in the first half as the second team were unable to show the same quality from a day earlier. At the half, 10 changes were made with only the goalkeeper remaining on the field. And even though Lord Hill Lions took the lead within two minutes of the restart, the difference in class was obvious. Rush Select replied with five unanswered goals. They topped off the win with the beautiful free kick. Lauder Hill Lions 2, Rush Select Academy 6. We decided we would rotate the team uh, to give those guys a little extra rest. And, and we told the first group, hey, if you, if you do well, you stay on. So we'll probably use the same strategy Saturday um, and, and hope for the best that we can uh, make it through till Sunday. Next up were the Jamaicans in a must-win game, and they were indeed fully focused in the locker room. The Jamaicans made four changes from the team that lost to Rush the night before, and from the start, they looked like a team on a mission. They took the lead through guess who? Tahim Dixon, of course, and his manager from Clarendon College made the trip to see it firsthand. The Jamaica All Schools team looked much more settled against a very Jamaican ingenious elite team as Omario Henry of Heidel made it 2-0 in the 23rd minute. The Jamaicans now coasting, but no more goals before the break. In the second half, it was much more of the same, and after 16 minutes, Dixon showed why he's one of the best players in the tournament with his second goal of the match, his fourth in two games. Both teams rang in the changes, and the Jamaicans continued to press for more goals, with Dixon seeking his hat-trick, but it was not to be. Final score, Jamaica All Schools 3, Ingenious Elite 0. It was do or die, you know, and we had us to go out there today and, and do the job. I mean, kudos to the boys, they, they, they dug deep, you know, after a rough game last night, come back today, tonight, win three love, you know, credit again. All we need to do is take care of business Saturday, you know, and leave it up in, in the hands of, you know, the father. Saturday we go out there and just take care of our business and, you know, whatsoever will be, will be. And remember, the region is also being represented by a Tobago Select team. They won their opening game 2-1 on Tuesday and will be back in action tonight and they'll be up against the defending champions, Inter Miami. Let's go to Phil Riley now in Fort Lauderdale for some analysis and context. Uh, Phil, let's start with uh, the highlights that we just saw. We did say that earlier this week the Jamaicans had some adjustment issues with the AstroTurf and so on and the pace and the pressing that they were getting from their opponents but they looked uh, a lot more comfortable last night and got goals. Yeah, but two things, Lance. One, the, the team that they played was not as competitive as the one they played the day before. So they, they, didn't, they didn't press them as hard, but the Jamaican team looked much different. They looked much better. They looked like they acclimatized to the, the conditions, to the turf. You know, they were more fluid. They look, they look good, at least in the first half they did. They made some changes, and the guys who came on, they played well, but they were, they were just passing around. They were just enjoying themselves. I thought they should have gone for two more goals or so, but they, they, they look good. Yeah, can you talk to us about the, the attitude and the sort of body language that you're picking up from the players here and uh, to make a comment on your thoughts on if they're embracing this opportunity in the way you think they should? Yes, they are. They are, they are a nice bunch of guys. They, they, they work well together. They, are, they, they, they look like they have team spirit, even though they, they, they are from different schools. So they, they are embracing it. They love the, the environment. They love the hotel. They love the field. They love the, all the people. They are enjoying themselves, and they, they are looking out for the the different things that come come their way. 
Yeah, um, we're all impressed with Kahim Dixon, having seen him for a few years now in the schoolboy program in, in Jamaica. Got a, a couple of goals last night as well, but I, I like the assist that he got on that uh, goal that he scored when, uh, who was the assist, who played the assist to him that got that second goal? I think... Second goal for Omaya Enu scored the second goal. The... The, the, the play that the, a, 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 a ball played through to him and he ran on and scored. I thought the assist was a very, very neat play. Not sure. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I missed it myself. I, it, it happened so quickly. Yeah. I missed it. I just saw when it when he placed the ball in the goal, so. Yeah, uh, well, Phil, you know what? The Tobago team, they, as uh, we mentioned at the top, have an important game tonight. They won their opener by two goals to one and are, you know, harboring thoughts of doing a lot better than they did last year. Talk to us about their game tonight and your expectations, given what you saw from them in their 2-1 win Tuesday. Lance, I tell you this. Last year, when the Tobago team played their first game, they had two days off, and they went to the mall. This year, they're not going to the mall until after everything is done. That's how serious they are. <laughs> that, that's a good look. That's yes. a good look. So they, they, they have been doing ice bath. They have been in the pool. And All we, of that. So yeah. they are ready. I, I spoke to some of the guys in the elevator. They said they are excited. They, they are ready to play Inter. How impressed are you with the inter, squ inter squad? Because they are defending champions, and obviously this is going to be a tough assignment for the Tobago team. Last year, a very good team. Uh, I don't think they are as good as they were last year. I hope they're not listening. <laughs> but I, I think that they are still at a they are still playing at a high level, and and it's going to be competitive to see if they can defend their title. But we're going to have a look and see how, how, how Tobago plays them today. Tobago are ready to go. And, and, and the team that wins play, plays in the final. Mm -hmm. can, you, can you talk to us about... But I give you this, I give you this also. Yeah. Tobago, if Tobago loses tonight and Jamaica wins on, on Saturday... Tobago and Jamaica would play in the third place game. Wow. Um, tactically, what does the Tobago team need to do tonight to stop Inter Miami? I think they have to play behind the ball. All 11 players must. And I think they need to get them on the break. Tobago has some speed up front. They have to just win that ball and, 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 and get, get that goal in and see if they can defend it. That's what Jamaica did with them last year, took them to penalties. I think Tobago can do that if they, if they, if they try. Yeah, and um, their coach, Kyle Joseph, did speak positively when you spoke to him earlier on this week, um, Phil. And how, how important would it be for Tobago uh, to get a result out of this match? Oh, I, I will tell you this before. I spoke to the coach from Rush last night. And he said they will play, they will play Inter in the finals. I said, Coach, why, why, why are you saying that? He <laughs> said, Tobago can't beat Inter at Inter. <laughs> so Tobago, Tobago wants to win, but it's tough. He said, if, if, if Inter loses here, then the referees will have a hard time. <laughs> so I'll be, I'll, be looking, I'll, I'll be looking out for the referees tonight and, and see what... What happens? Okay, well, Phil, I think... I think but I want, to, I want to talk also about the... The pitch. The pitch, Sir Lance. Oh, my. Last year, we played on field six. This is field six. I'm on field six now. We're, we're going to be playing on field five. Baby, Jason can show you field five over here. It's in immaculate condition. The ball rolls through everything. I'm going to... I, we have a ball right here, so I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna show you how to to it. So I'm with I'm with Carlton Hammond of Excelsior fame. So you see that? 
Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm nice, seeing that. Nice, man. Yeah. Nice. Uh, is this the something special? Nice. <laughs> R R Ricardo was asking if that was the special moment that you had promised. I I'm sure you would want to play some six aside on this field. I would, I would, I would. But well, Phil, yesterday you promised us something special. Is is that it? <laughs> no, it's not. No, oh, because I, I would be no, very disappointed if that was it, Phil. <laughs> I was expecting David Beckham to be I, honest. I, I will tell you what the something special is when, when we get back to Jamaica. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to interview David Beckham. I am so disappointed. <laughs> or Lionel Messi. I am too. You're not <laughs> as disappointed as I am. <laughs> Lance? Yeah, well, we're going to leave it there. We'll be back in a moment to, to wrap this Sports Max Zone on this Friday with our and, Sports Max And platform. that's why I didn't say... Uh, <laughs> yeah, well, he's suggesting he didn't really make a promise. I didn't, he didn't say really definitely. Make a I said maybe. Yeah, he, he didn't make a full <laughs> promise. Back with more on the Sportsman Zone after this.